Hi, this is Nick Lardigo. I'm going to show you how to use a kettlebell to get a great hip flexor stretch. I got this from a guy named Pavel Satsulin on one of his videos called Resilient. And uh, it's been a great way to get a very intense and effective hip flexor stretch. So I'm going to start off in regular hip flexor stretch position. One knee under the hip. I'm going to be sure that my hips are squared up toward the front, my tailbone's tucked under. And then I'm going to pick up the kettlebell. My wrist is going to be straight and I'm going to press it up overhead. I'm going to lock my elbow here. Locking the elbow. Yes, I said lock the elbow because the elbow is better able to take a compressive load than the cranium is able to take a blunt trauma. So we always want to lock the elbow when we're doing anything overhead with the kettlebell. So the elbow is locked, my fingers are straight, you can see they're in a straight line. I'm not letting the kettlebell bend my wrist back. Never want to do that. I'm going to take a big breath in. And on the exhale, I'm going to sink my hips, let them go forward, letting the kettlebell sink up and back, trying to keep my hips from turning. I don't want to turn my hips this way. I want to keep them squared up. Each exhale, I want to sink a little deeper into the stretch. You can do that on each side. I like to hold it for about five breaths, five breath cycles. If you found any benefit from this video, please leave a comment below. Or if you'd like to sign up for the Run Better Now VIP Club, you will get exclusive content, instant access. Just click that link below in the description on YouTube. Thank you.